It's a year of decision in Livingston, California. On Wednesday, January 29th, 2020, the City Council, with Mayor Samra absent, voted to start the Proposition 218 process of raising water, garbage, and sewer rates. At stake is over $24 million in new wells, filtration systems, pipeline projects, all to address water quality problems Livingston has endured for years. Obvious problems like dirty looking brown water and the not so obvious problems of toxins like arsenic and TCP. It's 2020 in Livingston, a year of decisions that will impact us for years to come. Planning Commission housing grants cuts to the street fair and sewer lines. City Council regular meeting agenda for February 4th, 2020, open session at 7 p.m. There is no closed session. Regular meeting, call to order, and announcements and reports. Public hearings, the closeout and public hearing about a housing grant, citizens' comments, consent agenda, there is a warrant register, and a resolution for an application for another community development block grant. Discussion and potential action items. A resolution reappointing a Dan and Bath to the Planning Commission and a discussion and possible direction regarding the downtown street fair. Staff report to the resolution appointing a Dan and Bath to the Planning Commission again. It says on January 21st, 2020, after a brief discussion, the council directed staff to prepare a resolution appointing Mr. Bath to a new four-year term. Here is the staff report to closing out a previous community development block grant. In 2016, the city received $1,700,000. It was used for a water line replacement project a code enforcement program and capital improvement program in low to moderate income block group areas. The $1,700,000 were 100% grant funded and all dollars available were spent. As required by the state, the city also committed $2,325 in local monies towards the planning study as these carry a 5% match. This staff report is about a new application for community development block grant money. On January 14th, staff held a public hearing to review and discuss the potential submittal of a grant application to the state CDBG program. At this meeting, the new changes in the application were outlined and the public was given a chance to learn more about the CDBG program. No public comments were received. Staff is recommending the application be for a sewer line replacement project. The grant funds are 100% grant funded with no loan or match required for this application. This has to do with the downtown street fair. It's about a recommendation to accept the Recreation Commission's recommendation and host a fall four week street fair. Under background and discussion, the street fair has been running in some capacity since 2006, and it went from one month to two months to six months. For the past three years, the street fair was developed into a certified farmer's market and the management was paid for by a grant from the USDA managed by Merced County Health Department. The grant ended in 2019. In light of financial constraints, the department has been asked to reduce expenses by 10%. 
Programming that will be affected by cuts is the street fair. This item was presented at the December 17th, 2019 meeting, and it was recommended that the item be taken to the Recreation Commission for input. At the January 23rd, 2020 Recreation Commission meeting, the Commission voted 6-0 to make the event just four weeks and hold it in the month of October. Holding it for just four weeks will allow the program to almost break even and attract more vendors and entertainment for this short period of time. There was also input from the high school students and staff that due to fundraising limitations at the high school, there will most likely be a number of clubs interested in using the Fall Street Fair as a fundraising platform. We will see if the Council actually accepts the Recreation Commission's recommendation or if they decide to do something else entirely. But what do you think about this, especially the street fair? What would you like to see happen? Let me know in the comments. If you're subscribed to the channel already, you might want to check and make sure you're still subscribed so you're notified whenever a new video goes live. And subscribe if you're new. Until next time, this is the Gardening Snail of Livingston, California, because not every critter is hiding under a rock.